morning, welcome back to another vlog. And today we are back in a very familiar place. If you recall last time, we were at Balcara and we almost died on that hike. <laughs> and so this time we brought help. <laughs> a trail expert. Trail expert. So Sharon's been here like once, we've been here once. So our combined experience is enough to get us through it. But we're better prepared this time and we're going on a different trail which we haven't decided on yet yeah <laughs> because but of certain situations <laughs> when we were coming here we accidentally went down to a wrong spot and uh it, which is right across from another parking lot but there's no access so the only way you could get to that parking lot was like driving back another seven and a half kilometers we found a nice little place to park and to start our hike so let's get to it following the Bunsen Lake Trail and now we've reached a suspension bridge it only took us about an hour this time so in record timing it's a total different story this yeah. time around because we have all the resources and we're fresh and we're not dying after like <laughs> six hours of walking so and then we parked on the short side of the lake so coming to this beach took a, only an hour compared to parking over there and then going up the mountain and down the mountain and then here Sharon how do you find the trail Oh, it's pretty good. <laughs> it has been like two months since I got a real trail. <laughs> so, oh, I'm so excited. Exciting. Yeah, yeah that's season's good. done, yeah. so she can come, come hang out. <laughs> so we're just going to take some pictures and we're going to head back and we got a special surprise in store. Ooh. <laughs> Sharon came prepared on this hike. What'd you bring? Yeah, some snacks, the smooth cakes, chocolate bars in some other chocolate stuff. Yeah, that <laughs> Man, that yeah. sounds so much better than the snacks we have. We just have Costco granola bars. <laughs> yeah, if I had time, I could I could bring more. Sorry. <laughs> Next time. <laughs> <laughs> walking from the suspension bridge back here it took us about an hour to get back Sharon timed us <laughs> and then we are going to cook up some lunch so we have our brand new stove here well like in our previous video um, we mentioned that we wanted a new stove because our other stove didn't have any wind guards to um, prevent the wind from blowing out the flame so this stove does have the wind guards here and it is also stronger and more powerful so hopefully the wind won't blow out our flame this time for lunch today we're going to be having pasta that we made yesterday so we're just going to be reheating it mm -hmm. and on top of that we're going to be having some broccoli i guess and, and we have burgers and burgers uh from earlier in the yeah, week we're going to use and them as meatballs okay <laughs> yeah so that'll be our protein yeah. should be good Yeah, like right when I put the broccoli on, it started like sizzling. It was like really hot. But to be fair, the last time that we were at the other campsite, it was like a lot colder and the wind was a lot stronger. So far, it's holding up pretty well. I We forgot to bring a lid. Okay. Stupid us. <laughs> but uh, good thing we have extra heat to compensate. We kind of didn't tell Sharon that we were packing lunch and stuff and mm -hmm. having a picnic. So this is a little bit of a surprise for her. Yeah. But. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We just finished napping in the car, or at least I did, and now we're going for our second hike somewhere far. We're heading up the Diaz Vista Trail, which is one that we hiked part of last time we were here, and we're going to go take a look at the lookout. We're here at the trailhead Diaz Vista, so we're going to get redemption. Ready. Yeah, yeah. This is different starting point than we started last time, but it yeah. It starts going through up the mountain though. Yeah. What'd you find? A slug. Well, you keep playing with it. <laughs> it's so huge. Oh man. <laughs> what if it was a leech? 
Look how big it is, Sharon. Wow. So big. <laughs> I'm petting it. <laughs> So after revisiting some good old memories, we've reached <laughs> the first viewpoint, I believe. And yeah. just over there is Coquitlam and we can see like Burnaby Mountain Park and stuff. So we're pretty tired. We can take a little bit of a breather before yeah. heading to the second viewpoint. Mm -hmm. I kind of feel like uh, I forgot <laughs> like the hike for like two months. So like I kind of feel like today is kind of intense to me. Oh, yeah, yeah, I have to admit like this show is really yeah. intense. Yeah. It is yeah. an intense one. Uh -huh. yeah. I have 10 days to pick skills up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. This is like a nice rock to sit on. It has a foot rest. Uh -huh. What is it? A woodpecker. Yeah, there's a few of them over here. It's pecking so quietly. Yeah. Normally it pecks very loud and lets yeah. everyone know it's working. We just made it to the lookout and last time we came it was in the morning, but yeah. this time is like later in the afternoon. So the view's like a lot different. It looks so nice. There are a lot of people here. We figured out that um, you can see till Nanaimo from this lookout point. Yeah, we just didn't know what it was. We didn't. Yeah. We couldn't even tell if there were like clouds or if it was actually land. But we decided <laughs> that uh, after looking at the map a little bit, yeah, it's Nanaimo. So we yeah. can see like all the way to Stanley Park downtown. It's getting kind of late now. It's like five-ish. So we're gonna start heading back. And by the time we get there, the park's probably gonna close soon. <laughs> It was getting kind of dark in there because of all the tree coverage, but now we're out in the open and it's just a short walk till we get to our car. This park closes at 8 and it's 7 o'clock right now, so we might not have time to eat dinner, but we'll find another picnic spot to cook our dinner. We're at some random park just checking if there's a nice little spot we can just picnic. Yeah, that looks adequate. We just bring our stuff, signal to Sam, bring the stuff. All right, she'll bring the stuff. Let's go. So the easiest thing to do is to pre-cut everything at home because last thing you want to do is deal with like a knife and cutting board on even and low surfaces. So we pre-cut everything. For dinner, we have, uh, we're gonna have stir fry vegetables with some random camp seasoning that we packed. We will also have mashed potatoes and some sort of fish. It's kind of replicating what we did when we went camping last time, just random seasoning and fish. So <laughs> uh, nice and hot already. This is how reheating mashed potatoes looks like. Yeah, it kind of turns crispy on the bottom, but I don't suggest doing this if you don't have a non-stick pan. <laughs> this is a cute little theater. Oh, is this like a, you know, those like open theater? Like yeah, it seems like it. <laughs> we'd be the parents to have our kids in a play and we'd pull out this picnic table. Yeah. Dinner and a show. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Cooking while everyone's trying to watch the play. <laughs> so we just finished up and now we're, uh, heading off. Thanks Sharon for joining us this weekend. Thanks for having me today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's been a lot of fun. Cool, so after a nice little quick dinner, we're heading home and uh, dropping Sharon off at home. So thank you guys so much for joining us on this weekend's video. We guys hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, peace. Bye.